All right. Hey, today what I want to do is take you through uh, some prompts that I created in Claude from Anthropic. So if you're not familiar with Claude, Claude is like ChatGPT. Today what I'm going to do is use it to evaluate a series of articles. It's going to strip out all of the NLP keywords for us. It's going to give us an original outline, and then it's going to write an article for us as well based on the keywords and the outline that we capture. So the very first place that you start, obviously, is you need to go to Claude.ai, like you're seeing here. Um, one thing that I want to mention right off, right off the bat is, you'll see uh, it's telling me I'm out of free messages until 12 p.m., get notified about paid plans. So the cool thing about Claude was it is, it's free right now. Uh, it's probably not going to be in the future. I really don't understand yet what the paid plans will look like. I don't know if it's going to be priced, you know, equivalent to ChatGPT+. The cool thing about Claude is it can ingest a lot more content to evaluate and summarize than uh, ChatGPT, the free version. So... This is why I really like the tool, and this is why I'm going to go ahead and use it for um, this exercise today. So rather than have you sit and watch Claude spit out all of the content after each prompt, I went ahead and saved the whole series of prompts so we can just look at them together and walk through them. So uh, Today I created this keyword extraction and outline creation for a blog post. So let's go ahead and open this up. So the very first thing that we're going to do with Claude is I decided I wanted to create an article about gravel bike racing. So the, you know, before you can create an article, you really need to know, you know, what are the keywords that you're going to target in this article? Uh, it, and you also want to know how many times the keywords should be used. Uh, another important thing is, you know, can you create an outline that you can use to uh, build your article and then have that article uh, use those keywords? So this is the very first thing that I did as I went out and I looked at uh, five different articles. And basically what I did is I went to Google and I typed in gravel bike racing. And, and then I looked at the, the top five articles that were popping up in Google and the SERPs. And what I would do is I just would go through and I would just copy the article just like this. Just go right down, copy the whole thing. And then I went to Claude and I pasted in four articles. Now, anytime the article is a certain length, it gets pasted in as a text file. Now you see this article here did not get pasted in as a text file. And the reason it didn't is, is it's just a pretty short little article. So that's why that one didn't get pasted in as a text file. But if they are over a certain length, they just come in as text files. So I've got five articles that I've copied and I've dumped into Claude. So Claude has those to reference. So the very first thing I said is, please, please extract the NLP keywords from the following blog posts on gravel bike racing and list them in order of importance and also tell me the number of times they should be used to rank number one in Google. So after I asked Claude to do that, here's what it told me. You know, here are the key NLP keywords from the blog post on gravel bike racing in order of importance. So what it did is it only gave me 10 keywords. Well, you know there's more keywords than that than you that you'd want to use in an article. So you know, it does say, you know, to rank number one in Google, I would recommend using gravel bike racing in the title and content. So it gives you some, you know, tips that are sort of SEO relevant, uh, gives you an idea of how many times to use some of these terms. But that wasn't good enough. I wanted more than that. I wanted at least 50 keywords out of the five articles that I'm asking it to extract content from. So... 
I prompted it again. I prompted Claude again. I said, can you please extract at least 50 keywords in order of importance and the number of times to use them? So this time it went ahead and gave me 50 keywords. Here are the 50 keywords extracted from the blog posts. And then as you can see, it gives you a list of 50 keywords and how many times you should use them. And at the end, you know, it tells me to focus on using gravel racing 15 times and the other top keywords with high frequency is listed. So that makes sense. So then the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to get an idea of the H1s, H2s, H3 headings that are being used. And so I asked it, using the articles that I input, can you list the H1, H2, and H3 headings I should use in my blog post about gravel bike racing? So it responded and it gave me an H1, an H2 with some bulleted points that need to be covered. And so after it did that, I wanted, I, I wanted it to create an original outline. So I, because I wasn't sure whether it's just pulling these verbatim out of the articles, I wasn't gonna go back and check. So I just said, hey, can you create an original outline for a blog post on gravel bike racing with original section headings? Do not just copy headings from the articles I input earlier. So when I did that and submitted it, Claude said, here's an original outline for a blog post on gravel bike racing. Gives me a title, introduction, again, uh, similar to what it showed before, but this is original. It says, let me know if you would like me to modify or expand on any of these original section headings. So, you know, you could continue to prompt Claude, if you felt like you wanted to expand on the, on the outline, I decided not to. I said, now I'm thinking, you know, I've got all this information. Why not let Claude just write this? Now, here's one thing that you could do. If you're going to use uh, an AI writing tool, so for example, if you were going to use uh, SEO writing.ai, which allows you to put in your own keywords, you could grab these 50 keywords and dump it into SEO writing. It would create an article for you. Or Koala Writer. Koala Writer also allows you to manually input your own keywords. And in fact, if you were using a tool like Koala Writer, which has the capability of uh, making an outline uh, manually rather than the tool doing it automatically, you could also use this information in this outline and do that. So if you prefer to use an AI writing tool and you don't want to use Claude, that's fine. Um, that's how I do it. But in this case, we're already here. Why not let Claude try and write an article for us? Now, one thing I will say, in the past, Claude has done a good job at writing fairly lengthy articles. I've noticed now that they're touting their paid plans. I think, now I can't tell you this for sure, but it feels like they're throttling the amount of content that's coming out of Claude. So there used to be some videos floating around, hey, make a 5,000 word article with Claude. Could you do it? You could, but you're not gonna get it in one shot. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see uh, what Claude gives me. So here's what I asked Claude to do. Write a blog post on gravel bike racing of at least 3,000 words. Write in a human-like, friendly tone of voice. Use the 50 keywords that you identified. Use each keyword the suggested number of times. Use the original outline you created for the blog post. And again, here's the prompt. I'll leave that up for a couple seconds in case somebody screenshots this and wants to uh, use it. So it created an article. It says it's a 3,050 word blog post. It's not 3,050 words. I don't know why it says it is, but it isn't. But that's okay. Um, the thrill of gravel bike racing. It's got an introduction. What is gravel biking? 
goes through, talks about that, uh, talks about gravel bike racing and the type of races, uh, lists some of the names of the premier races, which is really nice because now you can do external links out to the websites that uh, will tell people more information about these. Um, so why ride gravel? You know, it's a pretty short two sentence introduction to that section that could definitely be expanded. All of these sections could be expanded. Uh, there was no reason why Claude couldn't make a 3000 word article out of, out of this outline. Uh, it's just not. And I think it's because again, with paid plans coming, if you want that kind of writing capability, you'll probably have to, you know, purchase a paid plan similar to, you know, the chat GPT plus accounts that you can purchase. So it goes through training, more information about the bike. So it's, it's a pretty complete article. And again, like I said, you know, you might want to expand these sections, but it's done a good job. Now, one thing that I realized I didn't do is I wanted a key takeaway section and I wanted an FAQ section. So I said, please rewrite this article, but, but include a key takeaway section after the introduction and an FAQ section at the end of the article. Uh, just to make sure I was completely clear, use all of the 50 keywords in the list. Again, um, I'll highlight this. Use each keyword the suggested number of times. Use the original outline. But I asked it to write it in Markdown as well. Makes it more readable, easier to follow. So it went ahead and it did create the article again. It added this key takeaway section, which is really nice. I like it. Um, we'll get back to the bottom of the article so we can take a look at the frequently asked questions. And here are the frequently asked questions section right here. And it came up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions in the frequently asked questions section. So uh, that's how I went in and I took the information on keywords and headings and outlines from the top five pages that were returned in the SERP when I asked Google about gravel bike racing and created an outline and grabbed the keywords and created a, an original blog post, AI generated blog post. So then what I decided to do is for fun, I went over to originality.ai and this is the article. I, I dropped it in and scanned it. See, it's only 1,541 um, words. But the cool thing about this, at least for now, we don't know how long this is going to last. Uh, you know, as Claude becomes more popular, I'm sure, you know, originality.ai is going to uh, work to, you know, detect Claude content as well as it does chat GPT content. But at least for now, it recognizes this article as 75% original, 25% AI. So that I do like. And I have an idea that um, a lot of articles would come out this way. Um, in the beginning, when we, I was running uh, articles from Claude and originality.ai, they were 100% original. So now there's some detection going on, but this is, this is not bad if you're concerned about AI content. From a plagiarism standpoint, 0% plagiarized, which is great, like that as well. Now from a readability standpoint for this particular article, the readability is okay. It's not in the green, it's in the yellow. Um, so again, this is up to you. You could rewrite different sections of it, try to get the readability score better. That's completely up to you what you want to do there. But I wanted to show you uh, the AI score out of originality.ai and the plagiarism score. 
Now, how well does it fare in Neuron Writer? So let's take a look. So here's the article. The Thrill of Gravel Bike Racing, and I did add the meta title, The Thrill of Gravel Bike Racing. So out of the gate, based on the keywords that we found, the outline it created, and the article that it wrote, Claude gives us a score of 48. So you can see that the highest of all selected competitors in the, in the SERP, which was about 10 articles that I had asked uh, Neuron Writer to uh, base its terms and headings and terms and articles on. And this is what we would, be, you know, have to write an article against. Um, you know, there's, it's a 72. Now, in the top 10 in Google, the average score is a 56. In the top 30, it's a 54. So we are, you know, okay at 48 but there's definitely some work to do from an SEO optimization standpoint. Now, if I just publish this article just like it is, um, it could rank. It all depends on your blog, right? So if you're a brand new blog with no domain authority and no backlink profile, it probably will not rank in the top 10 or maybe even in the top 20. Now, if you are an established blog with a higher domain authority and a higher backlinking profile, you could get away without doing any additional optimization and you may rank in the top 10 just by virtue of the fact that your domain score is good and you have a good backlinking profile. And if you look over here in Neuron Writer, they just added this. So, you know, the words... Here, 1670 words is what they count this, this article at. We needed to be at 1,978. Um, we've only used 35% of the basic, basic terms and extended terms for this article. We're doing pretty good right now with the headings. Now, the title itself says 0%. If you go to terms and headings and you look at H1s, you might be able to write a better title uh, to bump the score up. Uh, there's definitely some places where you could maybe beef up your H2 terms and pull that score up. If you look at the terms and article, the basic terms are the ones that you really want to key on because those are going to bump your score up faster than, than the extended terms. So the first thing that I would do with this article is I would see if there's the opportunity to use any of these terms. That, that will definitely bring your score up, followed by any of these extended terms. But all in all, I think Claude did a great job of helping us write an article, extracting keywords, building an original outline, and with some massaging from an SEO perspective, and perhaps um, going in to each section and asking Claude to expand on those sections, um, we'd have a really nice blog post out of this. So I hope you found this useful. And until next time, take care.